What's going on YouTube? My name is Carlton Maybell and today I'm going to show you how to play Sunshine by Lotto featuring Lil Wayne and Childish Gambino. I'm going to play some of this song for you first and then I'm going to show you how to play it. Let's get into it. The song sounds like this. Look, I'm not going to sing all the song, but that's how the song sounds. So now let me show you how to play this song. All right, let me show you how to play this song. So this song is in the key of B flat major. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the easiest way to play this song. And then we're going to stack on top of it so you can add some more flavor to it. So the first way you can play it, I'll play it first for you. Then I'll show you how to play it. It goes like this. Then it goes back to the top. Yeah, yeah. All right. So those are the chords. That's the foundation of this song. So let me show it to you. Um, the first chord is right here. This is a B flat major nine. So your left hand is going to do a B flat in the bass, and your right hand is going to do a C D F A. That's your first chord, B flat major nine. Your second chord goes right here to an F minor seven. So F minor seven, left hand doing an F in the bass, right hand doing a C, E flat, A flat. That's your second chord. Then your third chord goes right here. Your left hand is gonna do a B flat in the bass and your right hand does a B flat, D, G. Right, this is your third chord and this is a G minor chord in the right hand played over a B flat in the bass that's like what it is but it's functioning to me as like a it's like a passing chord or, or um, kind of like a dominant chord uh, but you know for now it's a G minor chord over a B flat in the bass and so you're gonna hit this chord one time and then you're gonna hit it again but this time you're gonna take this G you're gonna play an F. So you're gonna go. Alright? And then that takes you to your final chord, which is this E flat major seven. So your left hand is gonna do an E flat in the bass for this chord. And your right hand is gonna do a B flat D G. That's your final chord. You're just gonna sit on this. Okay, so those are the chords. Um, now let me kind of play it for you so you can get the rhythm. Uh, so the rhythm goes like this. Okay, that's the rhythm. That'll take you back to the top. Now what we want to do though. So let's let's let me let me show you how to add a little bit more flavor to it. So. When you come up to your first chord, when you hit your B flat major uh, nine, on the song, when they lead into that second chord, that F minor seven, it goes. All right, so it's. Then that takes you to your F minor seven, which is right here. So it'll go. All right. So let me show you that. So what it is is an F. You want to do octaves if you can. So it's F, C, B flat, G, F. That's your lead in. So it's 
and then I'll teach you to your F minor 7. Okay, so that is um, pretty much how you play this song straight, clean, vanilla, like no extra sauce, no nothing, no toppings, like that's literally how you play the song. And so now let me show you how to add a little bit more flavor to it. So what we're going to do is we're going to take all these chords and we're just going to make them a little bit more fat. So uh, to play a little bit more fat, it'll sound, let me show you what it'll sound like first. It'll go like this. So as you can hear, that's a little bit more full. And so to play it that way, we're going to hit that same B flat major nine for our first chord. You can do octaves in your left hand if you want to. It's kind of optional. So starting with that B flat major nine, same as before. But then when we get to that F minor seven, what we want to do is instead of playing it like this, this is how we played it originally. Now we want to add that A flat to the to the bottom, right? So we have in our right hand A flat, C, B e flat, A flat. With an F octave in the bass, if you want to do octaves, or you can just play a single bass note, doesn't matter. I'll do octaves though. So this is the second chord. Still an F minor seven, just play it out more full. Then we're gonna to go to our next chord, which is that um well, now it's uh it's like a Shoot, what is this? This is like a B flat. I look at this as a B flat dominant chord. Because if it was a dominant chord, it would be played like this. But it has a G in it, so. I'm not exactly sure what you would call it right now, but anyways, this is the next chord that you would go to. So your left hand's gonna do a B flat in the bass. Your right hand's gonna do an A flat, B flat, D, G. All right, so now this chord is a little bit more full because we added this A flat to the bottom. And then we wanna hit it again, this time with the F on top, instead of the G, so we're gonna go. And then this takes us to our final chord, E flat major seven. This time, instead of hitting it like this, we're gonna add that G to the bottom. So our right hand does G, B flat, D, G. Left hand is still doing the E flat in the bass. So let me play it for you nice and slow so you can get the rhythm down. It goes like this. There we go. Let's go back to the top. All right, so that's that's the more full way you can play it. And now I'm gonna add even a little bit more sauce to it. Um, so I wanna show you that. So let's say we're starting on our first chord. B flat, major nine. Second chord, F minor seven, played nice and full. But now, after we play this second chord, instead of going here, we can go like this. We can go. It might sound the same to you, but it's a little different. And so what we can do, this is an A flat major seven, A flat C, E flat G played over your B flat in the bass. And then we're gonna, instead of playing this G, play this F, which turns it into an F minor seven. So we're gonna do. And then we go right back to our E flat uh, major seven chord. I'm sorry. So I hope I did a good job of explaining it, but it sounds like this. That's how it goes. So now, now you got a few different ways you can play this song. And you can mix it up however you want. But I gave you options. I gave you some options. So that's how you play this song. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, you know, like, share, comment, subscribe, all of that stuff. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comment section. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.